touches and up opportunities. But, but as far as uh, practice structure itself, we really didn't change much. Do you know yet if Briley should be able to go? Uh, I think Briley will play. I, think, I, I feel really good about how he's practiced. Um, but, but obviously, the, to the extent that he can, we'll see once we get going. But I feel good about him. I know it's been a little while now, but looking back at the Oklahoma State game, that was really the first time we've seen you guys have uh, sustained su success with uh, Will Howard running the ball. How much of that was the game plan going in, and how much did you kind of have to create as the game went on? Well, uh, a little bit of it got uh, pretty early. You could tell how they were going to try to defend the uh, kind of that fly sweep series stuff that we do, and, and that's where Will then kept a couple of them, had some big long runs off of it. And, you know, that's, that's a part of the game plan that, that each team a little bit dictates whether or not the quarterback's going to keep it or whether or not we'll be handing it off. The best thing was our old line was able to sustain some blocks at the point of attack. And then when Will got to the second level, he did a nice job, did a nice job carrying the ball as a running back. Thanks, Courtney. Good luck this week. Thanks. Fitz? Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Still can't hear you. Is that? Oh, there good. Okay. I had to unplug my uh, device. Uh, what does Iowa State do best on offense or defense? Excuse me. Well, you know they they, they do a great job of putting the the D line, the linebackers, and the safeties all in the quote right spots. Um, so what they're going to do with their Oki front or their odd front is is do a good job with the two DNs trying to create issues from the passing game standpoint. Then they do a really good job with their their linebacker and safety level fit in the run. Um, so I, I feel like the the DNs they, they wreak havoc a little bit because they're able to kind of turn it loose and, and play play fast. And have you come up with some solutions maybe to free up Deuce Vaughn? Well, we got to keep trying to get him touches out in space. Uh, you know, and and I don't know how many carries he had this last week, but I felt like Oklahoma State and, and uh, really did a good job of making sure they kind of knew where he was at. And so we've got to move him around and, and get him the ball in some different areas rather than just the, the normal stuff. And, and we, we've got to get it done. And is anyone, can we expect anyone new at receiver maybe? Is there someone stepping up in, at that spot? Uh, no, I think the same guys, but I, I just, I really feel good with uh, how Sebastian has practiced, um, and I feel good how Phillip Brooks practiced, so, you know, I, I hope that they can have an impact on the game, but, and we've got to do a good job getting the ball to those guys, um, but it'll be interesting to see the elements and see what it's like this, you know, it's changed a little bit from what I saw early in the week, but it's still uh, a chance that it might not be very nice. Okay, thanks, Coach. John? Yeah, Courtney, I was going to ask specifically about Will, the, the play that he had the fumble to turn into a, a touchdown the other way. Just what, what are the teachable moments there? Is it just a matter of, hey, the guy made a play, the defender made a play, or what do you tell him? Well, one, the, you, you do tell him, obviously, that, that you got to still take care of the football the right way. And, and one of the biggest things that we talk all the time about is keeping your wrist higher than your elbow and keeping that ball tight. Um, and, and obviously, the D-line did do a good job of getting his hand in and, and, and raking Phil, uh, Will's arm down. Um, but, but the bottom line still ends up being if you take care of the football the right way, carry it the right way, um, you should be able to hold on to it. And obviously, you know, it, it was unfortunate that not only did the guy uh, recover the fumble, but he recovered it basically on the run. Um, so, so our ability to have uh, you know, people track it down, people make a play just to keep him out of the end zone is unfortunately we weren't able to do that. Then <clears throat> based on what you saw from Jax uh, a couple of weeks ago, how, how much more of a factor can he be in the offense moving forward this well, year? Well, what was really excited that, that he got an opportunity to get some plays made. And, and um, I feel like his best football is down the road. And it, it's, 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 he's really, I believe, understanding our offense better. Um, and, and he's, you know, I don't know if you guys notice it or not, but he's in better shape right now by far than he's been the entire time he's been in our program. I mean, his his ability to play the way he played in high school from a, a speed and quickness and, and play fast, uh, it's coming into his own right now. Thanks, Courtney. Appreciate it. Derek? Yeah, Coach, the numbers are, 
were kind of lopsided, not in your guys' favor in the third quarter, especially in the last, I think, three games. Have you guys identified that as an issue or kind of addressed why that's happening? Well, I, you got to be careful a little bit. I mean, I don't know when we played Kansas, but uh, uh, we pretty much were uh, smashed them uh, on, in the third quarter and didn't play very well the rest of the time. Um, if you look at our season as a whole, um, the first, the third, and the fourth are about the same. The second quarter were, were, were a lot higher as far as points. Um, yes, we need to do a better job of coming out after halftime and, and putting points on the board. Um, but our bottom line is it doesn't matter if it's the first quarter, the third quarter, the fourth quarter, you get opportunity to do something with it. We need to. Oklahoma State, we were not good in the third quarter, and, and that kind of magnifies the issue. Um, and to be honest with you, we put ourselves in third and short two out of the three times, but you've, you've got to move the chains when you're third and two or three, and unfortunately we didn't. And from the beginning of the season to now, on offense, is the most improved unit your offensive line? Oh, I, I think without saying they are, and, and not just uh, that, that we felt like uh, against Oklahoma State, we were able to start running the ball a little bit under center and, and quote, downhill, but also from the pass protection standpoint. And, you know, there's, there's one thing this league does have, and that's D linemen that can run and create havoc. And um, we've done a good job of, of keeping them off our quarterback for the most part, and, and we've got to keep doing that. Thanks, Coach. Brian? Hey, uh, Courtney, on that, that last throw that Will had in the Oklahoma State game, uh, you know, it was a pass, I guess, at least intended for, for Connor. Was that a play that Connor would have been in there normally, or is that more that he was forced in there because of Briley and then the injury to Sammy? Um, more, more because of getting forced in there, but I really, you know, the last two weeks have been huge for, for Connor. Um, he's, he's really started to um, kind of come into his own, and he needs to. He's a big guy that can run with great hands. Um, and, I, and I hope to get him a lot more playing time this week. Um, obviously, not, uh, not, not to take reps away from Briley, but just because he's a guy that, that does have really good ball skills. And he, we felt good about him as an athlete since the day he got here. Is he the guy who maybe stands to get the most playing time now that, in terms of maybe outside of Briley, now that, that Sammy is out for the year? Yes. Yeah, he'd be the guy that's kind of taken over that role that Sammy, uh, as far as a uh, a longer athletic guy that can run down the field fairly well. Adam? Coach, if the special teams is able to produce points like it has against games in games like Kansas, how much do you think that's going to help this offense right now? Well, I think the, it's a huge for us if they – I'm not even always saying getting touchdowns, but but creating turnovers, putting us in a, in a, in a positive field position. And – um, unfortunately, a couple times we got it inside the 50 and weren't able to do anything. But fortunately, inside uh, when we've gotten turnovers in the red zone, we've been pretty fortunate to, to score points. And um, obviously, the special teams, especially if the game, uh, like last year, it was a windy game. Um, a kickoff return for a touchdown was huge. Um, and, and as a team, we're always looking to try to find ways to, to, to win with all three phases, you know, having a big part of it.